Today's video is going to be all about leather stitching needles. This is one aspect of leather stitching that is rarely talked about, but I think can make a real difference to your hand stitching. I will first go through what makes needle for leather special and the different brands and sizes that are commonly used. Then later I will do some test stitching with different size needles to compare how it affects your stitching. Now let's get started. So what makes hand stitching needles for leather different from other types of needles? The needles used for hand stitching in leather are called harness needles. These are different to your regular needles for sewing as harness needles do not have a point at the very tip. Instead, they are rounded off at the end, which means that they are unable to directly pierce leather and will need either pricking irons or an awl to first create an opening in the leather. The rounded needle tip can then slip through this opening without getting stuck in the hole while you are hand stitching. The most common leather needle brand that is used are these John James harness needles. John James have a range of sizes and I have three of the smaller size needles that they make here. Each have different lengths but it is the thickness that we care most about and even though they only vary 0.1 millimeters per size it does make a big difference when stitching. The smallest needle here which is the John James 004 which is 0.8 millimeters thick. If you need a smaller harness needle than that for when you are using very fine threads you will need to go to a different brand such as Systems S plus U where they have a harness needle which is only 0.7 millimeters thick. As a general rule for choosing your needle size you should always be going with the smaller size that can still fit the thread that you are using. The smaller the size of the needle, the smaller the eye of the needle will be, which is going to make it easier to pass through holes and will not stretch out the leather. If you have chosen your needle size correctly, then you should easily be able to hand stitch without the need to use any tools to help you to pull the needles through tight holes. Now it is time to do some test stitching using different sized needles to compare how different sizes affect the look of stitches. I have prepared this sample of leather which is 3mm thick and then punched in a row of stitching holes with my 3.38mm spacing Cinebrox pricking irons. The needles that I will use for this top row of stitches are the John James 004 needles which is the smallest of the three sizes. The stitching method I am using is the saddle stitching method I always use for my projects, which I have made a few videos on already. I repeated the process using the two larger needle sizes, all using the same Lancablay 432 thread. The top line is the smallest 004 needle, the middle line is the size 0, and the bottom line is the size 00 needle. This is how the stitches look before I have hammered down on them. The larger needles have stretched the hole open a lot more than the smaller needles and it was also more difficult to pull the needles through the leather when stitching. This difficulty to pull needles through leather becomes a much bigger problem when dealing with thick leather where the size of your needle could mean the difference between being able to stitch with your hands alone or having to need to use something like pliers to help pull the needle through tight holes. After hammering down the stitches on one side, the holes from the smaller needles have closed up better than the large needles where the holes are still stretched out. The bigger sized needles definitely stretch out the holes a lot more than the smaller needles, but cannot really be fixed by hammering down on your stitches. However, the main reason why you should always be using the smallest needle is about making it easier to pull your needle through the hole in the leather. This becomes even more important when stitching thicker pieces of leather where the hole has more resistance when stitching. Most leather crafters are using threads around 0.4 to 0.6 millimeters, for which I recommend using a John James 004 harness needle for. I am still managing to use the 004 needles even when stitching Lancablay 432 size, which is a linen thread that is 0.63mm thick, which is the thickest thread that I use for my projects. 
I hope you found this video helpful when choosing your next leather needle size. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.